When you give shoes, you give love. Over the next year, that's the message a Nebraska woman will take around the world. She's a global advocate for Souls for Souls, which uses new and used shoes and clothes to fight poverty. Yeah, we're happy to welcome back the recently crowned Mrs. International mm -hmm. 2014, Maggie Thorne. Hey, Maggie. Nice. How's it feel? Congratulations. Nice you. Thank you so much. It's great to see you again. Uh, take us through that journey. So when were you crowned? How did this all go down? I was just crowned July 26, 2014, so it's been less than 30 days that I've been Mrs. International, but I'm still going at the same pace that I was, mm -hmm. so that's the great thing about it. Why was this a uh, goal of yours? Why did you want to do this initially as Mrs. Great Plains International and then mm -hmm. go for the crown? Oh, as you know, previously I've lost two loved ones in my life to suicide, so that's been a big motivational factor for me mm -hmm. um, to be able to stand alongside it. people love them and let them know they matter yeah. and it's just been on my heart and more than anything i'm grateful that for the opportunity to be able to do that i never looked at this crown at this title to change my life but the opportunity to change the lives of others mm -hmm. and that's what i'm excited about the most it was about the platform this wasn't a self-serving mission of yours well in the international pageant system with it being platform based 50 percent of it of your score it's focused on what you're going to do. It's focused on your platform. What's your plan to help yeah. others? And that's it's why action. I love this system. Mm -hmm. It's action. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. So what will be your, your biggest impact now that you've got the crown? Because you have a bigger audience now uh, yeah. that you can reach out to a lot more people. Mm -hmm. how, how are you going to take advantage of that? Well, Souls for Souls and I, earlier this year, actually even starting in January, we started developing a plan of what if. And what if we had that tool to change the world? And now that we do, you know, we're really going to try to build our international and our domestic partnerships. 55% uh, of our distributions are in the U.S. And then we're going to try to build partnerships internationally with countries that don't have our microenterprises programs. We mentioned this idea of fighting poverty with shoes and clothes. Does it really work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the amazing thing is when you sit at the foot of a child and you get to look in their eyes and you know that you're making a difference. They now have the opportunity, just even one child, to go to school and when we go on our international distributions we're touching the lives of thousands of children and give them the opportunities to fight disease with the basic necessity of footwear go to school have a different chance yeah let's back up a second because i think we're assuming that some people know what souls for souls is mm -hmm. what exactly is it souls for souls they're not for profit in 127 countries and their mission is to wear out poverty through the basic gift of use shoes and so that's been a part of my mission. I'll continue to do that through mm -hmm. our domestic partnerships, collect shoes. I've already actually gotten a couple hundred pairs of shoes mm -hmm. from people who are like, I'm collecting already. I'm like, send them my way. <laughs> so it's been great. And it's just something that we throw away but can yeah. have another life with mm -hmm. someone else. What kind of shoes are we talking about here? How tattered can they come I in? Mean, because they and, have to be and usable, sizes, right? Boys, girls, adults. They can be any shoes, any condition, heels to slippers, everything, even the pumps I've got on right now. Mm -hmm. What they do is they sort them based on the different countries, because you'll have a country like Morocco that might like high heels, but Haiti, they're going to be more of the sandals and sneakers, mm -hmm. something that can have a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. They don't have a modernized road system. So anything, any condition. You are organizing a trip. And you have an announcement to make. I this do morning. have an announcement. So, what are we doing here? Well, I'm very excited. Souls for Souls is going to have the opportunity to travel with me, I guess. <laughs> this is international. Um, so, it's going to be a wonderful opportunity to engage with the citizens of the country of Haiti. Haiti. Yay! Yay! So, you're going so to Haiti. When are you going? So the trip is going to be January 2nd through 6th, and to find out more, people can go for soulsforsouls.org slash travel, and it's going to be a really neat trip. Um, they're going to be publicizing this throughout their worldwide community, the opportunity to travel with Mrs. International, and I hope that people have that chance to engage with children, mothers, fathers, um, globally like I have. It's, it's truly a life-changing opportunity, and not just for the children, but you're going to come back changed and you'll view life differently and you'll love people differently. Has any of this affected you as a mom as you're learning and you seeing three, the need around yeah, the world? Three kids, four, three yes, kids? Yes, we have three kids and unfortunately they're not old enough to travel with me yet. They have to be 11. But when I see my kids and we see someone, like let's say we see a homeless person, my son will say, I, Mommy, can I use my allowance to go buy him something? And so the perspective that we can leave an impact for future generations, teaching our kids to love it's other people. About. That's the most important thing I want my kids to walk mm -hmm. away with in life. And anybody that we engage with, and the great thing with Souls for Souls, 
anybody can do it. So we're teaching future generations how to give back and how to love. Yeah, mm -hmm. two components here. The trip that people can That's inquire right. about. Can they just go to the website, MrsInternational.com? Is that information on there? Or, or is that Souls for Souls? SoulsforSouls.org. Souls for Souls. Yeah. Um, if someone is internet interested in the international pageant system, which we don't have a Mrs. Nebraska International or Miss or Teen, that's where I'd encourage them to go to the Mrs. Mm -hmm. International website. Right. And Otherwise, then you have your own website as well, MaggieThorne.com. Mm -hmm. MaggieThorne.com and they can follow on there. And I'll actually be blogging twice a week through the international pageant blog site. So if they really want to keep up on the yeah. international travels and Souls for Souls, visit the and international pageant blog. And if you'd like to blog. become a collection site uh, for shoes, Maggie, love to hear from you. Shoot her an email. Absolutely. Thank you, Maggie. Congratulations. Thanks, Maggie. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We yeah. love watching you and we'll Thank be you. Keep, hopefully keeping you posted as we head toward January. We